The green flag flies at the back of the field. The lights will come on and we'll go racing for the second time this weekend and the second time in Super Formula 2022. Let's race at Fuji. Good start from Tomoki Najiri. So Sahara is on the grid again. I can't believe it. Twice now. He has stalled it on the grid. So Najiri gets away beautifully. No problems at all for Ritomo Miyata. Rensato has had a bit of a difficult start. That's a great launch from Kenta Yamashita. The condos come through to third place. Kobayashi trying to get squeezed by Hirakawa, and he's in fourth. Good start from Kobayashi, as round the outside comes Sasha Benestras. He gets into fifth position, side by side with Hirakawa. Then it is Shonsu Moi, I believe that is. A great start from him, and a terrible start for Ren Sato. But for the second time in a row, Ukiyo Sasahara is left on the grid, as Shonsu Moi goes wheel to wheel with Ryo Hirakawa. They come out of Coca-Cola Corner and up towards the Dunlop Chicane. And it is a perfect start for Najiri and Miata. But it's gone terribly wrong for Sasahara again. Oh, big launch down the inside. And there's contact. That looks like Matsushita has made an absolute hellraiser of a move. And who is that that's stiffed around? That is the Dandelion car. That is Tadusuke Makino. What a crazy start to this race, Jamie, and yet again, disaster for Ukiyo Sasahara. Yeah, it's hard to believe that. Clearly, the, the team was spending last night trying to get to the bottom of those issues. And it, obviously, well, we don't know whether it's the same issue again, but you have to think it was. As we see Sasha Benestraz drop his way past Kamui Kobayashi, that's P5, I believe, or P4 even. So that's a, a good start for both the Kondo racing cars running in three and four. Yep, a very good start indeed. And uh, Kondo-san is going to be very happy with that one. Is there going to be an undercut manoeuvre though from Kamui Kobayashi out of the first corner? Yes, there is. He gets a much better run. Fenestraz is just going to have to concede, but he wants to get back on the inside. He lets him go. It's actually uh, Atsushi Miyaki that got the fantastic start, not Shou Tsuboi. Tsuboi actually got a terrible start by comparison. So uh, it's Atsushi Miyaki who's in front of Ren Sato. And then we have uh, Otsu Fukuzumi, Matsushita, Oyu and Oshima. And there is the car still stranded as the drivers have come a, up to it. Have a safety car period, I believe. Obviously, there should be double wave yellows down at turn 10 for Makino's stricken car, but we have got a safety car. Obviously, we managed to go safety car free yesterday, despite the incident on the opening lap. Ren Sato got going again after being spun around, and uh, Fukuzumi managed to park neatly at the side of the circuit uh, out of everybody's way when he was tagged, but this time Makino uh, can't get the car going. So. Let's see how this restart goes. He's going to wait for his opportunity to go on the throttle. Now he goes for it. He punches it as he comes out of the GR Super Corner. And he has completely caught Ritomo Miata off guard. But he's still going to have cold tyres. But Miata has got a better line out of the final corner. So this could be an interesting battle right from the get-go. Here we are green, 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 green here at Fuji Motor Speedway. And we are back up to race action. So Nojiri, Miyata, Yamashita, Kobayashi, Fenestras, Hirakawa, Miyaki and Sato down to the first corner. And Miyata actually looks like he's going to have a run on Tomoki Najiri. Up to the inside line as well. We've got a move on Sato. There goes Giuliano Malesi trying to make his move on the inside of Sato. It's not going to happen. And he's got to be careful because on the exit, he could have pressure from Hiroki Otsu. Meanwhile, Fukuzumi is still trying to get that team to the points. But on the inside, Matsushita tries again. And is Matsushita going to get his move on the inside line for 11th position? Well, side by side, they are still battling Alessi and Otsu. Oh, and a run wide from the condo. A spin off the road. That's Fenestraz. Fenestraz goes off. So the Kondo racing car returns to the circuit right behind Okio Sasahara. But Sasha Fenestras spins off the road. I didn't see whether there was contact. As on the inside, Matsushita does get past Nirai Fukuzumi into the Dunlop chicane. So a nice run there from Nobuharu Matsushita. And he's already going to have pressure now from uh, Toshiki Oyu, I think that is, in 13th place behind them. And then it is Kazuya Oshima. But what an exciting race this is already turning into. And this is only the first green flag lap. But watch Ritomo Miyata. He is going to have the draft. And I think we're going to have pressure from Ryo Hirakawa on the back of Kamui Kobayashi into turn one as well. Another investigation to report. Got turn six cars 20 and 55. That's Hirakawa and... Uh... Atsushi Miyaki, so I don't know what happened there. Oh, 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 uh, we're going to have a run on Nobuhiro Matsushita here. Fukuzumi's going to go one way. And there's all sorts of overtaking moves going on. That's Alessi and Otsu going side by side. 
Giuliano Alesi cuts off Otsu. Meanwhile, in the background, Matsushita and Fukuzumi are wheel to wheel again. So, fascinating racing there. And they've both been caught out by uh, Otsu. Oh, no, that's Toshiki Oyu, isn't it? Toshiki Oyu has managed to go from 12th to 10th in one fell swoop. He got past both of them. So, a great move from Toshiki Oyu. And that puts him now and the Nakajima car into 10th place. That will make the team happy. Certainly will. Matt Suter, don't forget, has got that penalty hanging over him, or we expect it to be a penalty as Otsu just tries to size up a lacy but can't quite make the move stick. Um, but yes, good to see uh, Oyu on the move again. He was the biggest mover in yesterday's race, and uh, obviously Nakajima Racing haven't got their qualifying set up uh, quite right, but on the, on the racing side of things, on the race pace or ability to overtake, uh, it's a different story. So Najiri. Utoma Miyata, Kenta Yamashita and Kamui Kobayashi. Here is Kobayashi and he's going to get pressure from Ryo Hirakawa. Hirakawa will try to go a bit more side. He continues his run. Kamui Kobayashi is trying to squeeze him. They go over the line and Ryo Hirakawa is going to commit but he's going to have a very tight trajectory. Kobayashi trying to hold it round the outside and he does. So Kobayashi keeps race one winner, Ryo Hirakawa obey. There'll be a cheeky grin in the helmet from Kamui Kobayashi. I just kept the race one winner behind me. Excellent. Now it's time to go after the podium. I don't think Kobayashi's got the pace though. You can see he's already 1.6 seconds behind Kenti Yamashita after just two laps of uh, green flag racing. Uh, Hirakawa really needs to clear Kobayashi as quickly as possible if he wants to have any chance of uh, contending for the win, I think. Um, don't forget we've got the two WEC teammates here doing battle here at Car, of course, part of the Toyota WEC setup now. Indeed, so they can't really get into the war zone because they're going to be working together in a few weeks' time. Oh, oh Hirakawa trying his best, but Kamui Kobayashi putting his car in all the wrong places for Rio Hirakawa's benefit. And for the championship leader, Matsushita coming in now to serve his drive three penalty. Oh, and now Miyaki is going around the outside of Kamui Kobayashi. Oh, he's going to go all the way round. I genuinely thought he could have that move done. Goodness me, it's Sushi Miyake really pressuring Kamui Kobayashi. Now, if he can get done what Ryo Hirakawa couldn't, that is going to be a massive feather in the cap for the rookie driver. Yeah, love, love, lovely bit of brinksmanship there from Noshiri, obviously the pit lane. Here they are, they're all coming out. That's uh, six of them all choosing the first possible opportunity to come into the pits. So, oh, and here we go, battling wheel to wheel. This is Kobayashi. Trying to go for the move. Oh no, sorry, this is Kunimoto. My apologies. This is Kunimoto going for Naoki Yamamoto. And Naoki Yamamoto keeping it nice and tidy. He's squeezing it, squeezing it. No, you don't. The pit stop rotation. Will he get out in front of Otsu? No. So Otsu's gone through. Kamui Kobayashi's going to try and use the advantage that he's got to sweep by. Can you hold him? No, he can't. Kamui Kobayashi goes by as well. Yeah, we've seen that a few times, haven't we? The, even though it is a warm day, putting those tyres up to temperature, it still takes a good half a lap. And now Ukyo Sasahara is eyeing an opportunity to grab another spot relatively easily oh. with those up to temperature tyres. He's going to go the long way round. What a move from Ukyo Sasahara. That is a stunning overtake. If he can finish off the job. And now watch out for Ren Sato. Sato's going to put it on the inside line now. Oh, that's not going to work. That's so nearly ended in a collision. No tyre warmers in Super Formula. And look, Alacy is just on him, on pure speed and pace. He needs to get past, so this move has got to happen on this lap for Alacy. Otherwise, he risks getting stuck behind him. So Giuliano Alacy, who has a lot of fire and temperament in those veins, he comes from an amazing line of uh, incredible racers. Jean Alacy, of course, was one of the greatest F1 drivers, never to be world champion. Here goes Giuliano Alacy, round the outside into the Dunlop chicane, and he's got it! What dedication and commitment on the outside. That was brave, and he made it work. Yeah, that was a good committed move from Alacy, but he's got to watch out. that, he, that he's... Having said that, Alacy's now under pressure from Kenta Yamashita. So this isn't going to be easy to hold on to. Yamashita will blast past him, surely. And getting up to speed as he comes out of the pits is Sushi Miyaki, and they are approaching him as they come up to the first corner. Miyaki is still slow, trying to get his tyres up to temperature. Alesi, side by side with Yamashita, he gets squeezed out. My goodness, that was close. And now they're going to come up on Atsushi Miyaki. Yamashita trying to hold the speed right round the outside, going the long way round. 
But Atsushi Miyake holds him at the line. Oh, and a bit of a washout. From both of them, they go a little wide. And now Giuliano Malesi is going to try and size them up. Watch out for Hiroki Otsu as well in ninth place. He could pick up a, play, a place or two. Round the far side. Genti Yamashita is going to try and go. Oh, Lacey nearly loses the car altogether. And he has to go along the cut through. My goodness, he's got to be careful. That could absolutely murder the tyres. Here we go. Genti Yamashita going to go side by side with the rookie Atsushi Miyake as Otsu battles with Alesi. Yamashita's through. What is Otsu going to do with Alesi? So Alesi's going to hold the inside line. And for the cutback, Hiroki Otsu is going to try his best. Alesi and Otsu go to battle again. And behind them, Kobayashi and Sasahara. Sasahara is going to make a perfect move here on Kobayashi. Kobayashi is going to go late on the brakes. He holds him off. Fair play to Kamui Kobayashi. I thought Sasahara had that one done. Nice. Yes, indeed. So he is going to try and undercut to Mokinashiri. Any problems at all? Watch as they fly through. And we've got Sasahara battling with Kobayashi again. Kobayashi still keeping Ukiya Sasahara back. Round the outside from Hirakawa. What a move. Absolutely perfect as he gets round the outside of Ritomo Miyata on one of the hardest corners on the circuit. Has to try and get as similar life into Bring the tyres as possible. Here's Sasahara and Kobayashi at it again. And Kobayashi... Desperately trying to find a way. Oh, and now he's, lo he's locked up in the first corner. Kobayashi puts him under so much pressure. That really is out driving his car here, isn't he? Look, he tucks in behind Ukiya Sasahara. This is what he's good at. Sasahara weaving from side to side. A little bit cheeky, actually. Kamu Kobayashi makes it look like he's going for the dive. Then breaks. Sasahara thinks it's on anyway. And he loses concentration. Oh, really a bit of a slow pit stop on the right front, though. Him. I think if he didn't have that time loss, he could be up the road and on his way to a double. But I think as it stands, not looking so likely. Oh, Otsu gets his move on a Lacey. Yamashita and Atsushi Miyake. And they're being caught by Sekiguchi. Here comes the battle between Sasahara and Kobayashi again. They actually do bang wheels this time. They actually do wow. have wheels. And they're still at it. Sasahara and Kobayashi absolutely on the curves and Kobayashi holds on to the position again my goodness that is as close as it gets Kobayashi just like a dog with a bone isn't he he refuses to give up that ninth place position and there is the moment where they do <laughs> make contact and that could have easily been a huge accident but what a great piece of driving from both of them just to keep it on the straight and narrow just about what a fantastic battle let's see Sekiguchi has got Oh, oh, sorry, seconds. sorry, this is uh, Rensato losing out to Toshiki Oyu. Toshiki Oyu gets through. Good job from Yuhi Sekiguchi. Ten places gain. Here we go again. This is Shotsuboy. I told you he was going to gain on Rensato. And round the outside he goes. I think Rensato's just overworked the tyres a little bit too much. So Moki Najiri wins round two. Fantastic stuff here at Fuji Motor Speedway. Don't be too deceived by Tomoki Najiri's tyre condition either because he pulled way off the course to pick up some muck and rubbish as they generally do but he looked after everything so well to Mokinajiri